has. So we'll kind of just reset the, the background. And uh, what you have is the paths are already uh, placed on here for you, but you can take the pen tool, click off to the side, and just click to make this straight path that you see. Okay? And just deselect it. Now what's on there is the uh, tool, and if you if you take the um, pen tool and click, you'll see that you have these options for transform, curve, add, or delete. So if you add one to it, and click right on the red dot there, you'll see that it'll be a path. I just take the letter A to get the direct selection. Actually, click inside here. And you can hold the shift key to click on the letter A and it'll go back and forth to which tool you'd like. So if I click on this and drag this up, you'll see it has the curve of these two handles, both left and right. If I go back to the layers and give it a layer that I can use to color on, then you can see a little bit better. That's a solid, solid shape color. And here's the stroke. Okay. If I want to take that off, you're just using the pen tool with its de delete anchor point, and that brings it back down to a straight path. So it gives you that line there. The second one, pretty simple, is taking the uh, pen tool again. Okay, and here it has the section. It's just showing the subtraction again of the uh, pen tool and converting it. So right now here's the here's the shape as yellow. Inside the pen tool you'll see a convert point tool. So when I click on this and drag out the handles come out. So I'll leave that there. Give that a shape of red. And if I click once more it will raise this up here. Let me, let me show you. So that becomes another shape. So you're able to build and uh, take apart this. So here's, you know, as you go through this, it's kind of showing all the shapes. <clears throat> so that was one movement. There's the other one taking the independent handle out of there. There it is at the point. There's the triangular. Here's the curve. Of that piece. So there's the shape of it. I'll get you going. There's the triangle that makes the yellow a couple times. Then click and drag. It drags the handles out with the convert tool. You can fill that one. Then you can select just the one point of the handle and stretch that out. And there's another shape in blue. The opposite shape, and so that gives you a little bit of a, a red shape. So it's kind of using all of the tools now with the convert tool. Okay. If I click back on the initial point, it'll reset it to what it was initially. And that's giving me that one. So let's try this. A little tricky at first on this. Uh, star shape. Let's see what we can do. Practice with the pen tool. Just click in there. Kind of make this star. And there's some <coughs> presets for making a star shape, but we'll get to that later. So there we come. Just to show you that that's the <coughs> star shape, I'll just fill it with a color and undo it. The part that's on the inside, take a little practice. And again, you can kind of see the curvature first, but we'll stretch this out. Option to click that. Let's zoom in so you can see a little better. Again, st practice stretching it out there. Get that curve option to set as a corner point. And you get your bearings about you to see if you can illustrate that. Remember the 
stretching of the point coming out sets the curve. See how it curves all itself, so undo that. Before you do it, hold the Option key down and it'll set it in there. There's that curve. Okay, so make sure you save it. And then, in this case, see if you can take the selection tool. It's going to be editing some of this, so see what happens as we go through it. So here's this piece. Here's the green. Okay. If you select, let's try the outside first. Let's select the interior part of it. Different color. So it's giving you this particular selection at first. Let's see about this one. So here's the yellow. Click OK. Gives you this outer edge to it. So it's kind of a, a tricky little piece, but it does give you the selection for it. Okay, and then taking the direct selection tool again, and see if you can't change some of this. Curve it this way. Depending on how you like to work, I'm just going to give it a new layer behind it. Give it a color. Fill it blue like that. So it's just a matter of trying to experiment with some of the patterns. See what you can come up with. So, articulate some of this stuff here. For the brush, given that selection there. Okay. And the direct selection tool, we'll see what happens here. <coughs> Take another shape just to see what it looks like up some different patterns trying to build that part out. And keep in mind if you use these uh, path selections, again, here they're both <coughs> selected. You have the options panel up here to combine them or exclude them, subtract them. They give you different uh, <coughs> selections for it. Look at from there. 